So on this web infrastructure project, mainly it was, it's, it's not about coding. Yeah, this one, this project is mainly about. Uh, it's like Alex wants us to understand the concepts be, behind the the websites. So when now you are when now you are coding your website. So maybe a beginner wants to know how websites usually work. So the main aim behind this project was that when I was going through I was going through the resources given and also the requirements, I noticed that for this task I'll admit this one is usual as usual for each for each task. Once you are done whiteboarding on a whiteboard piece of paper or software of your choice, take a picture or a screenshot of your diagram. So you guys should not forget that this project will be manually reviewed reviewed and then you should upload your screenshot so okay somebody was asking me where to upload the screenshot okay you can use imga but then i don't think it's compulsory you can just use any hosting service you, you like so the imga was given here for those who maybe don't know other hosting websites or services so in case you have another one of your choice you can just use that and then also yeah, but then most importantly here you should whiteboard so what that's why today our session will be whiteboarding here so that we know how to do it step by step but then today we will do the task so that we give everybody a chance to do it alone and then maybe on sunday or maybe on saturday we'll after, after after we are done with this we will decide whether if it's going to be on saturday or sunday so that we come together and then review the three tasks because they only uh, I saw that there were only three tasks, yeah. And there, there's no coding; it was just some few, some, some few just drawings, yeah. So I think that's that. So for this project, you're supposed to know about network basics. Already have about that. You should know what a server is. Server is. You should know what a website is. You should know what a DNS is. A load balance monitoring. What a database is. Yeah, everything here. So first thing first, because when I was doing this project, I noticed that most importantly here, so to be able to do this project, you must start with this. What's, what is an HTTP? Yeah, we'll discuss that in a moment. And then you should know, most importantly, what is a database? You should know the difference between a server and an app server. Yeah, and then the app server is an application server. So you should know the difference between the two. Yeah, and then the DNS. I won't say what DNS in full means, somebody is going to tell us here. So there are four types of DNS record types, so somebody is going to tell us here. Yeah, so I think you can start immediately. So let me delete this, because we have already, already done that. Yeah, so... So, so this is what we are, we are going to discuss today. So today we are going to be discussing about the DNS type. So. And then a web server, an application server, and an HTTP versus uh, maybe we can add a database also. Let me just add a database here. Okay, so we go that. We just add a database there. So that. Who's database? Yeah. So most importantly, let's start with DNS. So we start with the DNS. So who can maybe tell me what DNS in full stands for? For a starter. So what the DNS means in full because this is just an acron, an acron. So it has a full meaning. So what does DNS mean in full? Somebody. Your main name. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah. DNS in, in, in full means domain name system there are four types of domain name systems so let me just try it from here so that's this so so dns dns means domain name system system so who can maybe give us an introduction? What, what while you are reading the resources? What did what do you understand? What did you understand about DNS? So in short, 
what is the genius to somebody who is not doing tech maybe you are explaining to a client why you should purchase this dns system and all that so since a client doesn't know he's not he didn't do software engineering so he doesn't know about this thing so what you're doing when you're running the resources what did you find what did you find that dns does or what is dns how can you explain it someone before i start mentioning names so yeah yeah um Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Help us, yeah. So I I think from my understanding yeah. it's like a it's like a mapping of uh, domain names to address uh, IP addresses of servers, I think. So it's it's more like mapping of domain names to to IP addresses. Okay, let me write that down. So mapping Domains, domains to IP addresses. Okay. So maybe let me see who's talking. So who's talking? Clinton. James. Okay, sure. Okay, thank you, James, for that. So James. So anybody else? Let me just say DNS just like a, a kind of integration of domain name with your IP, the IP you are going to be using on a server. Okay, but also so it's, it's like integration of domain name system. So integrating of domain of domain name systems to IP servers. Yes. yes. Thank you for that also. So because we are learning here, there is no wrong answer. Because once you say it, and then uh, after discussing it later, so you know where you have gone wrong. So you should not fear talking. Okay. So anybody else, one last person. So let me let me try to answer a domain name, a domain name system. Okay. It lets us use that to connect with the websites using domain name instead of IP addresses. So for example, when you say New York Times, instead of writing the IP address of that website, you just use the domain name of New York Times. Like the way we Google, if you want to access an address, we use the domain name. So that system allows allows us to connect to websites to get information using domain name yeah thank you for that also so let me let me see who was talking and that was monica okay monica thank you and then this one was all this who who was that was it Gabriel. Yeah, Gabriel. 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 Thank you. Okay, everybody is right. Depending with what everybody understands, so Gabriel. So everybody is right. Uh, from from what I knew, okay, from what I understood about domain name system, I found that domain name system is a technology that translates human adaptable text based names to machine adaptable numerical based IP. What this means in simple terms is like just just as as like as humans normally understand text easily is the same way computers understand codes. So yeah, you can say binary codes in any kind of so the same way when you go somewhere, maybe when you're walking in a place, you can see a place written let's say maybe Lagos or maybe Kenya. A certain place so you know that place or maybe that certain country belongs to a certain person so the same same way computers use now these codes to help us to help to help us okay let's just a minute we'll use that okay, okay yeah i'm sure maybe try restarting your uh, yeah tell me the can't say because okay monica okay monica Monica, I've seen your hand is up, so you can just go ahead. 
No, actually I raised my hand long time ago. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, maybe I can I can continue. Yeah, so so the domain name system is just in simple terms is just like the way computers are able to, to help us go to where we want. So maybe uh, you want to go to Google. So how will how will now the com- your computer help you go to Google? It will use now the domain name system. But then for a computer, it won't use www.google.com. It won't use maybe www.google. For a person you write, maybe you want to go to www.google.com. But then for a computer, it's going to take the IP addresses to, to take you to where you want. So maybe we'll say, let's say it's maybe, because most of the times it's, they normally use IP before. So you should also know about that. There are two IP addresses, so this is IPv4 and then this is, there is IPv6. Somebody will tell, will tell us the difference between the two right now. So, I can just give them, maybe just, and just for example. So now when you type www.google.com, your computer now translates it into 124.984.07.1. So this is now, so now this is the, you can say this is, this is now what the computer translates. Is. So it, so using this 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 address here, now your computer is able to return the address of www.google.com. Yeah. So there's something also called IPv4. Yeah, IPv4, IPv4, and then because it's IPv6. Yeah, these are the two types of IP addresses that are normally used. Yes, yeah, so before I say anything, so can anybody maybe help us with what's the difference between IPv4 and IPv6? So maybe you can just say what IPv4 is. Yeah, so okay, because I'm just here, so you can just go ahead. IPv4 means... Hello? Yeah, sure, I can hear you. IPv4 means? Uh, it means in, uh, Internet Protocol version 4. Yeah, it means in. That, that is. Yeah, Internet Protocol Protocol version ba- 4. Version 4. Okay, so, so what is it? Is it? Uh, so what is it? Is it a kind of. Is a kind of version that, that you previously used? When you want to search for something on the on the website previously, like before, but then it's as if it's a kind of old version that we'll be using before. But IPv6 is a new version and that is more faster than the IP4. Okay, so so let me let me say this. Okay, let me say you are right. Yeah, so you are right. But then for a person who doesn't know the difference. So explain it to like explain it to me like you're explaining it to someone who is not into tech in simple terms. So IPv4, IPv4. So in simple terms, just say it in simple terms. Uh, I don't, don't know if I, can, I can put it in a simple term. Maybe probably you can still share more knowledge. Yeah. So okay, thank, thank you for that, Sil. Yeah, so anyone else who maybe wants to say something? Mm, I, I think IPv4 is, is a latitude bit address. Mm-hmm. It's a latitude bit address and uh, IPv6 is 128 bit address. That's the main difference, I think. Yeah, so... Okay, because since IPv4 is a 32-bit address and IPv6 is a, you say it up, a 128-bit. Yes, 128. Yeah, so okay. So what do you mean by 32-bit? The way I, I want it, I want, I, I, we want to understand uh, 32-bit addresses the same way you understand. So maybe by saying is a 32-bit address so maybe what do you understand by that or maybe how can i put it so that okay maybe let's say that i don't know maybe let me say maybe i don't know what a 32-bit address is can you can you explain it further 
Yeah, because that's a, that's a very good difference. So IPv4 uses 32-bit addresses, while IPv6 uses 128-bit addresses. Yeah. So what are 32-bit addresses? Or maybe what are 128-bit addresses? The kind of memory location, the kind of memory location where you can store that data. That is what the maximum, the maximum space of that address can can actually retain. Understand it. Yeah. Okay. I understand you. Let me let me let me share my terminal. I want you. Uh, I want you to explain something to me. Let me. Can you can you can you can you see my can you see my terminal? Yes. Okay. Let me. I want to ping my IP address here, and then you are going to help us know if what you help us know if it's a if it's a two bit address or maybe it's a one twenty bit address. Okay. So I'm using Windows, so I hope it's loading. I have not opened my terminal, so I think today we are not going to code anything. So that's why it's taking some time to load. Give it a minute. Yeah, so while well, that's still loading, we can we can also we can also talk about only we will I just want us to go quickly because of time today. We really have a lot to cover, so quickly, quickly. Okay, let me just close this Ubuntu because we need to be using be using it. Okay, yeah, I think that's it. So if config so it's supposed to give us some addresses here. So okay, if config sorry. This is the problem of using Ubuntu. Yeah, so now okay. This command helps us helps me know my IP address. So in this case here, yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm sorry. I can see that it's already it's already telling me. It's already giving me the the version six, the version four. I don't think that's going to work because here, yeah, as you can see here in the wireless LAN Wi-Fi adapter, it's saying the IPv address is one inch two dot one six eight 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 two fifty two. So I wanted you to to help me locate it, but then it's already here. So I don't think while while in the IPv IPv6 address this one, but then okay, this one won't work. So let me just stop it. Yeah. So IPv4 just uses 32-bit addresses. So the main difference between okay, or maybe you can say an IP address. Is a unique address that is used to locate your 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 your, your machine. Maybe you say your laptop. Maybe you're using a computer. Yeah. So that's what an IP address. Is. So every that's what an IP address is. So every computer has its own unique IP address. Long long time ago, we use we were using IPv. We used we we started using IPv4. I think yeah. But then we shifted to IPv6 because. As people, as time keeps on moving, people people continued growing. Yeah, and uh, as you can, and IPv4 did not did not meet all the users, <coughs> meet all the users. I don't know if you guys are getting what I'm trying to say. Because okay, let me let me just let me let me mention a name here. Let me see. Okay, a big group. I think a big group can, yeah. So I think you guys, I think you guys can get what I'm, I'm trying to say. So, in simple terms, an IP address is a is a unique number that is used to locate your your laptop, your machine, the internet. Yeah, and then there's something called also a MAC address. Yeah, a MAC address. But then these ones, you should just know them. But then they're not going to be useful in this in this in this web infrastructure here. So in the web infrastructure, you should only know about IP address, Internet Protocol version four and Internet Protocol version six. 
so for version 6 is the latest one most computers are using this so we should look further into that yeah so there are four types there are four types let me, let me delete this one while let me write the other one while ipv6 uses 128-bit yeah 128-bit yeah, 128-bit addresses yeah so I think that's it so both of them so what you should know about the two in case somebody may be asked so an internet uh, an uh, internet protocol is just it's just an address that is used to accommodate a device in the internet so there are two types of ip addresses which the first one is ipv4 and the other one is ipv6 sorry about that there is someone raising up his hand oh sorry 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 so okay gabriel sure feel free okay The question I wanted to ask, yeah, basically, how can we put uh, the the main DNS now, the main system? How can we put them in a in a, in a kind of compressive definition, a short words? Okay, okay, maybe pardon. I think you're breaking. So pardon, pardon on that. So how can we put the DNS, the domain name system, to? Yes, in, in a more compressive definition. How can we define it? okay in short in short you can just say okay maybe i didn't write it here so okay let me just say in short you can just say let me let me let's just write it here in short you can just say a dns is so maybe is a technology technology used to translate to translate translate human best text text to to machine readable IP addresses so machine readable IP addresses so in short in short uh, in short the DNS is what makes is what makes it easy or maybe is what makes it possible for 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 the end for the for, for the machine for for a laptop maybe or for your computer to know what you're talking about so i don't i don't know if that's that has answered your question maybe i should add something on top of that so dns is a technology used to translate human text human based text to machine readable ip addresses so if you want to go to google right. the computer won't, won't understand google it will understand an ip address of maybe 127.0.90.0.1 so you type google but then the computer translates google to this because the computer doesn't understand google it understands these ip addresses so in short that's what a dns is so the dns the dns now technology is what makes the computer able to translate your text into these ip addresses in short so i don't know if maybe that has helped or maybe you should i should look for another definition Great. Yeah. perfect perfect okay 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 so there, there are three types of addresses yeah so the three types so there are there are three I think there are four there are four types of DNS of DNS of DNS records DNS records so who can tell me the first one anyone a record yeah okay yeah a record was the easiest yeah a record yeah another one thank you for that i record 
anyone else if i start mentioning names so let me just mention a name okay lupamo help us with that help us with the second type of dns record hmm uh mx is it mx or xm yeah the one who said mx so, so <laughs> you're saying mx i think mx yeah let me check so you're saying yeah Okay, MX. Oh, yeah, MX. So yeah. the full which is? Mm. Mail exchanger. So, yeah. yeah, the one who's going to tell us what that does. So, next. Next, somebody else. Maybe Clinton. I've not heard you. Clinton. NS record. So NS NS record which in full is name server. Okay, name server. And then lastly, maybe maybe the ones just were the these are the main types, so maybe there's another one but then not about that later. So can tell us maybe the last one? Triple A. Pardon? Triple A. A card. Triple A. Just like that. Yes. 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 Okay. Are you sure it's triple A or maybe four S? Is it three S or maybe four S? I think it's three. Okay. because and it has it has more than two <laughs> i'm not sure yeah okay yeah it has it has more than one but then <laughs> yeah so this one maps uh, maybe i can talk about this one because this one this one helps in, IP, in ip address six yeah this one helps in ipv6 so this one maps a, a domain name to an ipv6 address yeah so so maybe maps a domain name to, to um, IPv6 IPv6 address yeah so I'm sorry about that it's supposed to be 6 yeah so this is what it's I think it there are four is I read it somewhere but well, then maybe in case it changed so I'm not sure about then but, uh, so maybe you can confirm it either if they're not four, yeah. I think they're three. I think it's four A's. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. So the, this address helps us. This record type helps us to 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 map a name into an IP address. So domain supposed to be domain. Yeah. So so what's an A record? So that because. When we are finishing up, we are going to combine all of this so that you can now see what's the importance of knowing all of this. Because maybe for now you are just saying this is not web infrastructure, but then this is what web infrastructure is all about. You're supposed to know all of this so that now, while now you are drawing or maybe you are, you are, you are whiteboarding your tasks, while you are now you are, while you are boarding this, while you are boarding these tasks here, you know how to do this. Yeah, and also we are going to talk about lamp. Somebody will tell us what lamp in full is, but then now for a moment. So, what's an A record? If somebody, let me change the color of this one. Yeah, so what's an A record? Somebody, or maybe in simple terms, then don't, don't, don't explain it too much. It's a DNS host record. So that stores a host name. Okay, so, so sorry about that. Just a minute. So you're saying it's a DNS? Host record. Yeah. That stores a host name and it's corresponding IPv4 address. Yeah, so helps us uh, so stores 
let me say just deals with IPv IPv4 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 addresses. Yeah. So there's nothing like a record. So first of all, the a record in full it's an address record. So you should you when when ask so it's address record. But then we normally just say a record. But then in full it's address record. You should not forget about that so because maybe somewhere you may hear somebody saying address record and you're like what what is that so the a record is an address record address record oh, sorry i i was cut off have you already said it or yeah i've said oh, i've only said i only i've only said that the a record means address record nothing else so maybe you can continue so deals with ipv uh, ipv6 addresses and then you said IPv6. I said IPv4. Oh yeah, I've said uh, I've written I've written IPv4. Sorry, sorry, I've written IPv4. Yeah. Stores it stores a host name and its corresponding IPv4 address. Yeah, so it stores a host name also. So a host a host name and its corresponding IPv4 address. Yeah. So deals with IPv4 and then it stores a host name, a host name. So maybe will you help us with how address records work or maybe? Yeah, so or maybe or maybe that's it. <coughs> yeah, I think I think I think I've lost you because we can't hear you properly. Maybe 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 somebody who somebody who, who will finish up with that. What's what's the question? So okay, so an a record an address records it stores a host name it stores, it stores a host name that maps in that deals with ipv ipv4 addresses so i was saying is that enough or maybe somebody wants to add something on top of this one or maybe this is enough if this is enough we can just continue or maybe if somebody has anything else to add you can just feel free Yeah, so I think, I think, I think they, I think that means everybody is enough. So next, we go to MX record. Yeah, so we'll pass with what is an MX record, or what is a mail exchange, mail exchange. Is it a mail exchange, or maybe a mail exchange? Maybe exchange record so what is a mail exchange record in simple terms while you're reading while you're doing while you're reading while you're going through the resources so so what did you understand with what does the mail exchange record do or maybe what did you understand by with the word mx record yeah we are sharing knowledge here so what you understood is what we want you don't have to be right, but then at least you'll have said something. Let me let me just mention a name. Okay, William. Yeah, William, help us with that. So what's a mail exchange record? So maybe what did you understand by that? I think it can be used for for email domains. Used for email domains. Yeah. So what if okay 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 use for email domains so how is it used for email domains uh, you just use the main domain and then you have the mail you, you you have the the mail in front of the of the domain okay okay like you could have uh, you could have ahmed dot your company dot co dot k Okay, something see. like that mm -hmm. Ahmed at oh yes at okay mail I mean uh, at your company uh, at you must have at but it's a mail uh, something like that. telex dot co dot ke yeah dot ke mm -hmm. get a uh, example okay okay let me see at example example dot com let me just use this okay So, so okay. 
how will this be used now in the or, or, or maybe how does the the mail exchange record work okay personally i'd say a mail exchange record basically in simple terms it um, it specifies the mail server responsible for receiving email on behalf of a domain so it specifies i just say it specifies it specifies the this is the email it, yeah, it specifies the mail server sorry the mail, the mail server the mail server responsible this is the mail responsible for it was the mail responsible for receiving emails on behalf on behalf of over DN, over over DNS over domain name. Yeah, in simple terms that's what I got from it. So in case maybe somebody else got something different or maybe you got a simple definition for it you can help us with it yeah because people studied in a different way so feel free okay since nobody is saying anything because of time thing just just move on yeah so next there's some there's another one called an ns record so a name server an NS record. Let me just put it into brackets. NM server. Okay, so so a name server, what does this one do? Yeah, so from what I got, I, I got that it specifies so it specifies the authority authority it specifies the authority name for the name servers name servers for domain for domain yeah and then lastly Lastly, I have a question. Okay, sure. What do you mean by authoritative name servers? Like, name, name. what's the meaning of that? Because I tried understanding. Okay. Yeah. Okay. As 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 we are we were starting here, we, we first of all gave a definition of a DNS. So we said a DNS. A DNS is a technology used to translate to translate human-based text to machine-readable IP addresses. So every every DNS, every every domain name system, or maybe we'll say you can say every domain has a name because you can say it has a name. Okay, how can I say this? Mm, let me let me look for the right words to say this in simple terms, because. learning so let me remove this authority name let's look for a simple way to write this so specifies so the, the name server the name server record okay well I'm looking for the right word to do that okay Gabriel will you help us with that where, where, where did you find uh, the, the name the name server record does or maybe what did you understand by it i've actually already resourced it i didn't i've not gotten the i've not gotten the rule of, i don't actually understand the in-depth of that part mm -hmm. so. okay 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 maybe okay 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 let me let me mention one last name before, before i give my view on that so james will you maybe help us with that before because okay james um i'm the one who has okay oh, okay sorry 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 for that actually i'm, I'm in the other so i didn't notice so 
okay Lukamo or maybe William can you can anyone maybe say something on that or maybe everybody got the same definition that an name server yeah an name server yeah it's actually the the numbers that you get from uh, from where you are hosting your 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 site yeah so so you're saying the name server are the actual now the actual names no, the numbers no the numbers like the the one 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 yeah like the yeah the the address the addresses yeah yeah the address of the server okay so address of the server yeah like like the the ones 192 like the 192 dot yeah or ipv4 okay 192 dot something dot something dot yeah, phone numbers separated by dots okay let me just say the one the 14 dot two, dot let me just say 256 yeah i think it's supposed to be from 0 to 250 something yeah 256 256 that 256 is supposed to be like the last one that's so if so once we're done with this guys make sure you go and look further on what's are they on what ipv4 and ipv6 the difference between the two because they they are really 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 benefiting to know even it, it, not only here in IT, if you go into cyber security, it's also, also got about IPv4 and IPv6. So just get to know the difference and maybe where the numbers start and where they end. Yeah. Okay. Well, so were you still talking? Were you still talking or were you done? Yeah, I'm done. So those are the numbers that you put on, you put where, where you have the domain from the server from the server and then where you're hosting your domain so you take the numbers of the server you put them on the domain host yeah okay okay thank you for yeah. that okay so james in simple terms i think you can see the name server in simple terms you can say you can just say it's more like of a of a signpost okay what i mean by this is that that's where your your computer goes or your computer device goes when it wants to find to find information about a specific website or a domain so it uses it it goes there and then maybe asks where can i find maybe google.com and then it's told google.com maybe bought a bought a bus to to maybe say thicker and then you'll get it there so it goes there and then it finds what it's looking for so in simple terms you can just say the name server is more like a location where your computer goes so that it can find more information or, 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 or more information about a specific website or maybe a domain where something has been has been stored so i don't know if that helps or maybe we should add we should add something else on top of that yeah uh, james i think it was james so what do you think about jam i think that uh, uh, no, i think i think that helps but i i think i'll do more research on that i don't have uh, fully understand yeah, yeah, but just don't, I shall look up. don't think it too much just, just like the same way when you want something you go to google right now look at this way what what about your computer when your computer wants maybe now to to locate maybe the website of alex where does it go to so it goes to the name server now where where it where all all the names of the websites are located there so it asks where can i find maybe alex.com www.alex.com and then it's told you can go to this specific address and then you'll get it there so it goes there so just just don't think it's so so much just in simple terms, just say it's more like a location where your, your your machine goes so that it can be able to to locate something else. I think I think that's the best way I can say that. Unless I've seen I've seen Maxwell here. Yeah, Maxwell. 
Yeah, yeah, can 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 you hear me properly? Yeah. Yeah, can you hear you? Yeah. Okay. So maybe can you help us with a better definition of what a name server does, or maybe in simple terms, what do you, what do you get by a name server? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a name server record. Okay. All right. So a name server. Yeah. Basically, is is. It's a server, right, or it's a device, which is kind of holds uh, the information about a specific domain. Okay, so if we should let's say use Africa, ALX Africa right? There's a name server for. Uh, we can we can assume that there's a name server for ALX Africa right? So if we need anything particular to ALX Africa that's where we are going to get. Right, so that. Um, <coughs> In, in DNS terms, what we say is the authoritative uh, server. Right? That's where the information is gotten from. Right? That's the um, like who knows of the knowledge. Like you are talking about in terms of how true the information is, that is where it's going to be coming from. Right? So um, that record that we put in the DNS is to say that well, if you need anything particular to this domain, let's say you want to go to, I'm, I'm sure you've thought about the domain right? just in case I'm saying something that is not coming here. Right? So um, the domain is just like, like, let's say, Google.com, those things that we've really been seeing so far. Right? So if you want to um, go to a particular domain which is outside of our environment, we need a name server which will show us where that's information is stored. Let's say here we are in um, port 19.com, right? And then let's say we also have port 18.com, port this and com, right? So uh, in port 19, I can have a med um, at port 19.com or um, William at port 19.com, right? But if I need to know how to meet someone on the port 18.com domain, I would have to know how to send the traffic or like resolve their names. And that name server is who is in charge of telling me that okay, well, this is the result. Right. So my DNS server will go and ask for the details and bring it back to me. Right. So um, it's like more of like and that it does a record that will keep or that that will uh, help us to have information about other entities that we don't have in our own domain if i should put it that way right so um, that's what it is important yeah yeah so uh, think about that maxwell so i don't know james if if that helped so maybe you have so- we have something to ask James, are you still around? Yeah, James, yeah, 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 James, so... Yes, yes, yeah, I think it helps. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, so, I think we can continue, so, so even if we have gone through this, make sure you'll still go through it again, so that you'll, you'll get a more in-depth difference between the four. They're not to say that there are only four, there are other types of records, so if you want to know about them i saw that there are more than 10 actually so uh, you can just go and do more research you'll see them yeah so maybe you can also touch a little bit on now uh, a database we, before we go to http versus https yeah so let me just database this is yeah yeah so anyone so somebody what's a database in simple terms just don't give us the definition of google just say just say it the, the same way you you know it or maybe the same way you understood it while you are going through the resources so what's a database let me mention a name for that so let me say 
Okay, let me. Okay, so sure. Okay, um, sure. Let's pass yeah. that. Also, what's the database? <coughs> can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, can hear you. Okay, in my own understanding. Yeah. I think uh, I think a database is more like a, a a structured way of organizing our data. So a structured table. So a structured way a, of a, a sort of way of organizing our data in so the form of table. So, so you can easily access them. Of organizing data. Yes. Organizing data. In the form of in form of tables. Yeah. Uh, form of tables. Okay. Before for you go. Easy, for easy accessible and manipulation. Okay. Okay. So for for easy access and manipulation. Yes. Okay, before you go, so let me say this definition is let me write your name Tuchuku. Okay, let me because I want to, I want just a minute, just a minute. Tuchuku help, help, help the, uh, help the, the spellings Tuchuku. Okay, okay, Gabriel. Okay, sure. <coughs> you, can, you can actually see a database. With a specialized storage for storing the data for easy accessibility and analysis. So, uh, uh, storing data for easy for easy accessibility. Accessibility. Okay. Yes, and anal an analyzing. Okay. Acc accessibility and analyzing. And, uh, Okay. Anybody else who got another definition for the for it? Or, or this is for Gabriel. So anyone else? One last person. Three are enough. So one last person who wants to help us with that. You want Clinton? Can you help us with that? Clinton, Clinton, we are waiting for you. Help you with a database one. Yeah, in simple terms, we don't want, we we don't want the definition of Google. We just want to know. We want the definition, the way you understood it. Yeah. So, in simple terms, the way you understood it, what's a database? Um, database. I can just go with what it's used for. Mm -hmm. It's used to store and manage data required by a web application so you store and manage data manage data for for yeah. web application yeah required by a web application for, for, for required by a web application okay this one is for clinton so we, we are just going to use this three and then we also want a database management system, DBMS. So we'll get to know the difference between a database and a database management system because, okay, let me just get one definition for a database management system and then I will explain the three. So for that, Monica, are you still Hello. around? Yes, I'm still around. Yeah, so help us with that. Yeah, so help us with that. A database management system is a collection of programs which enable users to access a database. Collection, a collection of? Collection, a collection of? Programs. Which enable users to access a database. Okay, okay, okay. I, I can okay, hear okay, an okay. echo, so I, I, I don't know what's up. Echo, so I don't know what's up. Somebody, somebody. Oh, please mute yourself, Fanny. Hey, please mute yourself, Fanny. Okay, let me okay okay let me okay, let me stop sharing okay, my screen for a bit stop sharing my screen for a bit i'm still here my i'm still here my 
yeah, so Monica has said also oh, this also yeah this one now is from Monica this one, this one. so the same Monica yeah so a database so a database is a structured way of organizing data in form of tables for easy access and manipulation so a database is a specialized way for storing uh, for storing data for easy accessibility and analyzing a database is used to store and manage data required by a web application so first thing first does anyone anyone for those who didn't who, who have who, who did not say their definition for database so in these three definitions here for database do you all agree that they are right let me just mention a name there so let me see let me see okay maxwell okay maxwell help help oh, maxwell do you do you agree with both three definitions of what a database is or maybe do you or maybe you have something oh, i think uh, it captures it in uh, let's say the diverse words which i can use but pardon uh, pardon I'm, I'm just saying that like the examples of the uh, messages given uh, i think capture what the database is for someone more specific to let's see like a web application like that which we can but uh, if i would choose one i'll probably say it's a structured way of organizing data in the form of tables for easy access and manipulation in fact uh, maybe uh, go with one of the examples which would be let's see what I would use uh, yeah. Okay, okay, so okay, so maybe what do you think is the problem with the second one? So the one which says a database is a specialized way of storing data for easy accessibility and analyzing. What do you think is the problem with that one? Oh well, well not really a problem. Yeah, but, but then but um Okay. We if you say a specialized way, right? I mean Every way of storing data is specialized, like every way is special. Right? But um, the reason I'm saying the first one is because like it has the thing like this with like structured way of organizing data. Right? But I could also pick a few things from the second one. Right? So you could see that database is a structured way of organizing data in form of tables for easy access and manipulation, as well as accessibility and uh, and uh, like analyzing the data. Uh, so I'm not just I'm seeing that like all three over here are our parts. Uh, yeah, so uh, they all draw the point of to see what the database is. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, so. I mean, anything can be a database. Excel, something can be a database. Like any, any form of that we, 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 we use every database. Uh, so, uh, yeah, but I was more talking more about the structure form. Yeah, so I think all are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maxwell is absolutely right. Both both three of them are actually correct. Yeah. So Gabriel yes is was okay. Clinton yes is also okay. But then I'd also go with Tochuku because of the statement structured way. Yeah. So at, in the data in the database is usually structured in a certain way it's structured in tables in the form of tables for easy access and manipulation so in tables it's structured in columns and rows so while you're giving your definition of what a database you're is you're asked. You're asked. Yeah, sure. you're saying you're saying it's structured in columns and rows but there are databases there, there are databases that are structured that, like that and the others that don't yeah exactly so, yeah we are not there yet we are not there yet that's why i wanted to say there are different types of database so there are the database which there are sql databases and there are no sql database so there are different types of database but then now in general in general in general you know you know this the the different types of database are just coming now frequently because data because now data keeps on growing and then there's been 
there's been more let's say people want a better way of accessing their data so that's why maybe now there are different types of database coming up so there are, there's a database there are relational database and non-relational database but then we'll see that in a minute because you have brought up that let just i didn't want i didn't want i wanted us to talk about what a dbms is before we see the types of databases but then let's just see the types of databases just like that so that will finish up yeah so that's that's why that's why while we are starting i was saying there's no right or wrong answer because you're learning so the same way you understood the concept is the same way it's not the same way somebody else understood it so everybody is right both both three both three definitions are right we are not saying maybe the first one is more better is more better than the second one or the third one but then i'm just saying the structure so i'll just i'm just saying the first one is better personally but then you don't go with my my own yours is also okay you are free to use yours gabriel is also free to use his but then you know while well, you're going for an interview there are these keywords that they normally look for but then even if they're keywords most importantly you should know how to explain it so the definition itself without an explanation will kick you out so in either way so let, let us just, let's just sorry about, let me just put it back here okay so types of databases so they are they are relational 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 sorry maybe i should not type anything okay clinton clinton uh, yeah you are the one who was saying there are types of databases that don't structure their their data into into tables right yeah yeah tell me how is it called so what type of database is that no no sql okay <laughs> okay okay let me okay you're saying no sql databases yeah. databases okay okay let me let me put this okay anyone else with another type of database Yeah so yeah so SQL SQL Monica Monica Hey so help us with one, so type, help of us with one type of database. Relational database. Okay. Okay, so in, in case you are not so muted, just muted, just muted, please. Thank you. So, so SQL, no SQL database, relational databases, yeah, so SQL databases, okay, databases, okay, let's get just one last type, okay, who is that, okay, Tuchuku, okay. Okay, um, I want to ask that SQL is yeah. it a database or or a, a language which yeah. we yeah exactly we to, just yeah we are, we are we are going to get, yeah we are we are going to get back to there so that's why we are writing we are writing them down and then we are going to to see now the one who said SQL databases okay. now will is going to tell us so what type of a database is because I've never personally I've never heard about a database called SQL database but then. I, because people there are different types of resources out here so maybe somebody went somewhere okay, maybe okay. got a pdf that was saying there's a database called sql so he's going to tell us about that so that will benefit also 
Yeah, so everybody, yeah, so, yeah. so everybody is sharing your yeah, So please, if you are not muted, please mute yourself. Yeah. yeah. So one last person can help us with that. Okay, okay let me just see non-relation. Can just type this one. None. Databases. Okay, we'll start with no SQL databases. So, okay, if you know you just said SQL databases, help us with that. So, what's <coughs> what type of a database is an SQL database? <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> so, before I mention your name, so just just say so. Help us with more information. Com complete this. So, what type of database is an SQL database? An um, SQL database is a database mm -hmm. that is designed mm -hmm. for managing and query instructed data. So, designed to designed for managing for managing and query instructed data and querying querying structured but querying but again but again uh, SQL is a language SQL is a, okay it's okay we can go on okay okay querying structured data okay 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 thank you okay 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 thank you for that so so okay personally I've never okay, had personally I've never had please mute yourself please mute yourself if you're not prepared <laughs> Okay, personally, I've never heard of a database called an SQL database because what I know, structured query language is used to manipulate data in between the database. So, if you think there's a database called an SQL database, I think you're wrong because SQL is used. So, maybe, 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 maybe you could have said. Yeah, uh, well, actually, you know, SQL is a language used to interact with many databases. Exactly. So, yeah, so. So now the SQL is used in between one of this one of these one of this database here uses SQL to manage its data its data inside. So maybe help us with that. So what type of database uses SQL here in this this three? Because the first one is definitely wrong. So we are going to remove it immediately. So so now between okay between no SQL relational and non relational. So which one uses SQL to manage its data? relational yeah yeah so yeah 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 so yeah somebody i've seen somebody has raised his hand so let me sorry i, I think i don't i don't see any hand up yeah so relational databases use okay so let me see yeah lupamo sure I have a question. Yeah, sure. Uh, since non-relational database are also called SQL, mm -hmm. or non-SQL, mm -hmm. can we also call relational database SQL? Okay, pardon. You're saying since relational databases are also called non-SQL? Non-relational database yeah. are also called non-SQL. Yeah, non Is it fair to call relational database sql okay that's all. <laughs> okay so okay let's see okay since non-relational okay i don't know i don't know i don't want to give an information that i'm not sure of yeah but then we, we can all agree we can all agree on that so i think it's okay i think i think we can we can call them non-sql databases but then you should not use that in, in, in maybe in an interview situation just use that for your own for, for learning purposes just know back down deep down that it's also an, an sql you can just use it for for easy remembrance but I don't, I don't think in an interview scenario you should use that or maybe what do you think guys what do, what do you think about that okay does maybe anyone has something okay. on that? What was what was the question? I didn't get the question. Okay, 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 Lupamo, just say it again. 
Okay, so non-relational databases are also called non-SQL databases. So no, is it fair to call relational databases SQL? Okay, Tochuku, have you, have you had that? Okay, okay, yeah, I think I heard what you said. But for my own understanding, there is a um, uh, relational and no SQL. And the relational databases are those databases that make use of uh, SQL language, use SQL language to uh, assess data, you know, delete uh, uh, data and the uh, update data on this or all, 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 all this and some of them even have their own proprietary uh as language added to this uh, sql but they see in one way or the other that use sql language then those that are no sql are those databases that don't use sql at all at all yeah yeah data manipulation so i think that is my own understanding yeah <laughs> Yes, yo, so yeah, thank you for that. So, does anyone have anything to add on that? <coughs> okay, let me see. Yeah, Maxwell? <coughs> yeah, well, I think we could, we could um, probably say that uh, when I talk about export database, it is usually agreed or like uh, like the whole mind goes on to the relational databases. Right? So this 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 new thing of no SQL, then you can see that because like the 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 thing that really makes um, the the this uh, kind of this and uh, like the uh, What's the name? The no SQL and the SQL thing coming inside as um, how they are laid out, right? So usually we have these things which do, do not have this kind of relationship that the SQL based databases have. Right? So I think it's it's okay or fine to say that well we have. SQL databases, which we can also say it's synonymous to, to saying relational databases, which is also fine, I think, right? because since uh, because like uh, usually when uh, let's say when you are learning uh, this kind of things and then these two guys come in into into um, discussion, we say something like uh, SQL versus no SQL databases, or so. Because from, from from that point is when we say SQL, we are sort of talking about every database that uses the SQL language, and it is relational, right? So uh, I think we can see that relational databases can also be called an SQL databases, right? Because of this. Um, Term that we we have now, and I think it's it's okay to um, have that. I don't think it should be um, a problem to say SQL databases because once you say SQL databases, I think that yeah, everyone's brain goes to uh, the 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 idea of relationship and no SQL in the other way. Right? So that's around the time. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. So I think I think that's right. Yeah. So everybody has that that from that. So Lupamo, I think I think you. I hope I hope you answered your question has been answered. <coughs> yeah. So yeah. So in short, there are only two databases. So in short, let's say. Because we are all learning here, in short, there are two types of databases, relational and non-relational. So relational used SQL, non-relational don't use SQL. So when you are learning, just use that, I'll say, 
you can say just use as a foundation yeah so the relational the relational databases you can also call them sql databases because they use sql they're not relational they are non sql databases because they don't use sql yeah we also learned about sql <coughs> yeah so because of time i don't think we'll touch on sql we we'll leave that for another time because of time because we will start going into sql right now we we'll touch these other things here so okay yeah yeah sorry we had left also a database management system yeah so a database management system monique has said is a collection of programs which enables users to access a database do you all agree with that or maybe somebody has a better definition or maybe a simpler explanation first of all does anyone have a problem with this definition that a, a, that a database management system is a collection of programs which enable users to access a database yeah so anyone to chukuya so one 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 person has said he agrees with that mm. gabriel i also yeah william okay william william has something to say so let's see william yes william yeah my point was uh sql yeah sql is an example of a database management system because and uh, and uh, and uh sorry yeah because the reason to assign sql is an example of a database management system is because it, it is a, it is a language it doesn't have to be a collection of a language it's okay okay i think it's a language i think the language is have is is that okay i think i think i'll disagree with you there do you know why Okay, why? Okay, SQL is used to manipulate the data inside the database itself, right? But then now, a database management system is used now. Is you can say a database management system is more like okay. something is something that is used to manage the whole database. It's not used. It's not used to get the data inside or maybe to manipulate the data. It's used to a database management system sometimes helps us to maybe check on security <coughs> so about that let me let me let me just run quarter okay uh, how about uh, okay okay sure okay continue william <coughs> in case you're talking we can't hear you You're talking how about my SQL? Yeah, I th- yeah, my no, SQL no, and yeah, something my SQL. like more. Yeah. Like. I guess I guess now my SQL. Hello. Be, yeah, hello. I can hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can hear you right hello. now. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, we can yeah hear my SQL and uh, Mongo. Yeah, now I Mongo think those now are management yeah. systems. Mongo DB, those are management systems. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you should. That was just my point. Yeah 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 thank you sorry sorry for sorry for that so you should know the difference between the two you should know which one now manages which and which one is used to access because for example now when we say sql so when you say sql maybe <coughs> when you say sql maybe we can a, a query like a query like select <coughs> select all from maybe from maybe say maybe from from users um, yeah I'll just say from users this 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 query here is not used to manage this one is just used to manipulate the data inside it so we, we can say that sql is used to, <coughs> to is used as a managing system but then you can say sql <coughs> my sql and my sql now my sql we can say that it is a management system yeah so thank you for that unless somebody has something to add on that i think because of time because time is really is, is moving really fast maybe we can we can now talk about the difference between a web server and an application server
yes well, let me just write it here so web web server versus application server yeah so start so and i'm asking a lot of questions today because this is more based of this is this project is theory so there's no there's no coding there's no what so this is more theory based so you should know what you are doing even if you are able to draw the diagram itself show how the data is moving in between while now the review is, is happening you'll be asked questions so like for example where did you choose to go with this section instead of this other section so you're supposed to to, to say that so maybe you can be asked <coughs> why did you go with a relational database uh, are not a, an unrelational database you're supposed to say about that so you, maybe you'll be asked maybe something like why did you go with uh, a http and not https you're also you're also supposed to say about that yeah so you're also yeah so first thing first you're supposed to know between a web server and a server you're supposed to know between the difference between the two so a server i'm going to say about a server and then somebody is going to tell me about a web server so a web server is a computer i'll say i I'll say that i just say a web server is a computer and then i'll also say a web server sorry is is a computer and then i also say a web server is a computer yeah i just said that both of them i've said both of them are computers so let me mention a name so monica can say jason jason you know we can't hear you but then you know the are so let's say okay doris let's go with doris i've not had doris so okay between the two between i've said our web server is a computer and our web server is a computer one of the two is wrong so can you tell us which between the two is wrong and give us the correct definition of it we don't want the definition of google you just want to know the definition the how, how you understood it yeah so please the flow is yours say something doris uh pardon me yes yeah so okay as you can see here i've said a web server a web server so we are talking about the difference between a web server versus an application server but then but then as you can see in, in a web server you must know first of all we want to know the difference between a server and a web server so can you help us can you help us with that so we have, there's a starter for you here so the starter is somebody has said a server is a computer and then still as a web server is a computer so one one of the two is wrong so help us with that can you help us with which one is wrong and then give us a better definition before we we move on so which one do you think is wrong between the two <laughs> between the web, uh, between web the, server is a computer so a web server is a computer yes i think that is the wrong one so what's a web server web server it's the component that deliver that me that oh wait a minute wait a minute can i pass yeah but, the, but then even if, you want to pass, even if you want to pass just say something uh -huh. just say something uh the web server it's the component that supplies information between the servers and the clients so it supplies information between let me just say between two people between two people between your two okay between between a client between a client and and a website yes okay this is the definition of Doris. You just write your name. Okay, so 
then we also mention another Gabriel Gabriel help us with that so Gabriel do you agree with Mon with Doris do you think our web server is a component that supplies information between a client and a website yes I, I go with her okay, so so you think also the web server is not a computer what she actually said is actually right yeah okay okay yeah so a web server is a component that supplies information between a client and a website so okay i guess we'll go with that so we are going to delete this first one here so we'll delete the first one here we just put an x there so that we know now this is let me just Remove that. Okay. And now I'm going to draw something here. Let me just use this. So I'm going to say this is a user. <coughs> Maybe this is a user. Yeah. And then I yeah. can say maybe let's say this is the internet here. <coughs> so just say that and then can also say can also say maybe your so web service a company supplies a client and a website supplies information between a client and a website or user let me just drop this one here to worry about that let me just say Also, can just see user here inside, and then and then see maybe database. <coughs> okay, James. James. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, in a scenario, in 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 a, in a scenario that, in a scenario, let's say, maybe I will be infrastructure looked at this. So this is just a demo. We are not saying this is right. So <coughs> how do you think this this goes? So when a user now Sorry? maybe now maybe when a user now wants information. Okay, maybe let's say in this now. For example, now this is our website here. Let's okay. Let me put let me put a DNS here. Let me put a small a box here. Maybe you know if, if I say it, I'm going to give it. The, I'm going to give the answer. So if I want to give the answer, so let me just remove this. We'll get there. Let me just remove it for now. We we'll just get there because I don't want to give the the answer. Now that's some, we are supposed to to draw something like that now in the tasks here. So <coughs> you must use one server, one web server, application server. So these are the things. Here. Just the just the, the drawings I was I was drawing here. Those are the things we're supposed to to draw for this for this task here. So don't worry about that. We'll get there. I didn't want to give the answer. So so we already seen that our web server is a component that supplies an information between a client and our website. So and then our, our server itself is a computer. So. What's the difference between a web server now and an application server? What do you guys what what do you guys think the difference is? What what do, what's the difference between the two? Because because the web server is a component that supplies information between a client and a website. So what do you think an application server is? Mm. An application server in simple terms. In simple terms, what do, what do you think that is? 
let me see okay jason type something there type type something there we want to we want want we want to see something in the chat <coughs> yes yeah, so to chuku yeah help us with that what's what's okay i think somebody's hand is up oh no no okay no no so to chuku help us with okay that. okay um do you understand all this sort in yeah like um in in this scenario whereby maybe a client mm -hmm. maybe is looking for something on the internet mm -hmm. then you 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 type in the maybe the uh name the domain name yeah then the dna the dns we down to now uh convert it to ips mm -hmm. the ip address and then uh I, sorry the yes the the don't the, the, the nds the dns converted to ip address and request for the for the resource for that maybe that domain name resource through H, through https https uh, request so and he requests it to the server to the web server the web server is what is going to fetch the information in which the client requested and then if he gets the information it will then uh, respond uh, back to the to the uh, to, to the client through uh, https as well but we are application server coming is like sometimes uh maybe the web server mm -hmm. doesn't have maybe the, the information the client is requesting and so maybe it's not a i, I would say is the term static maybe static a uh, web server or something like that maybe the web server could not find the file in which uh, the client is uh, in which the material that the client is requesting the the web server did not find it then that is when application server then came in application server i think deal with dynamic uh web server whereby the if the web static did not find the information then we now send a request to application server then application server we now have to go to the maybe database or something to check the information maybe generate it, it can even generate information maybe the information the resources the, the client is looking for and then send it back to the web server and a web server will now send it back to the client through https this this is just the way I understand and I see this in when I, I led it today. So I don't know if there's another maybe someone can add something to this and find me Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank okay. you so okay. much. Thank you so much for that. I, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Somebody is not muted, please mute yourself. <coughs> so thank you for that, Uchuku. Uh, actually that's the best way somebody can explain what an application what's the difference between an application server and a web server <coughs> yeah so okay okay because we are many here does anyone maybe have something to add on that or maybe a better explanation an easy explanation that you got while you are going through the resources <coughs> yeah so anyone yeah with me with me all i can say yeah all all i know yeah, sure. An application server, an application server, basically just it just creates an enabling environment. Yeah, for services to take place such as security. Mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah, you uh, just that it creates an enabling environment for running and managing services. Okay. But maybe it can create security enable data processing and communication but basically it just creates an enabling environment whereas the server handles http request things like that yeah so i think that's it guys i won't explain anything else on that i think that's better yeah so what you're supposed to get by that a web server displays while an application server just provides an environment for service to take place yeah so I won't, I won't add anything on that. I think that's all.
those while well. I was going through the resources also that's what I got yeah now Clinton has talked about uh, HTTP uh, HTTP so I think that's what we will talk about next so now HTTP sorry HTTP versus HTTPS so somebody now let's start with HTTP we just want a definition for it so a quick one a quick one okay everybody has said something so we'll just start with William again so William just give us a small introduction with what HTTP is just a small introduction uh, HTTP is a uh, is a protocol yeah so in full first of all in full what is it it's hypertext transfer yeah, so uh, hypertext hypertext transfer protocol yeah, sure pro, pro protocol okay yeah this is for security Use for security. The, no, no, the S, the S on HTTP. Yes, it's for security. No, oh no. First of all, we are in HTTP. We are not in HTTPS. We are first of all in okay. HTTP. Yeah. So help us with HTTP, and then maybe okay. after, yeah. <clears throat> okay. So it's uh, it's the it's the protocol that is used, huh? To, to allow data to be shipped around the internet yes yes so using the, to allow data to move in, in the internet yeah yeah to move around the internet okay to move around the internet yeah using the using the get method post method yeah get I'll just say get and post yeah so if you want to know more about this there's a there's a project we did <coughs> we, we, we got to know all about this so in case you didn't do the project suggest you go back and then you'll see more about this so okay i got i, I saw you are starting on https so https so what's the difference between the http and https so i think the s stands for security Okay. okay so which one is better http or https the latter the one the, the one that came the i mean the only the s so why is it why, why is it why is it better is it better because it has the s I think it's because it's it's more secure. Mm -hmm. More secure because that is transmitted is encrypted. Because the data that is and uh, transmitted, mm -hmm. the internet is encrypted, so it, the, it's hard to to what to steal information from the internet. That is okay. Now, <clears throat> thank you for that. So okay, let me let me see who was talking okay so james james uh, was it james or it was clinton it's james okay thank you for that james you have said it's more secure because the data is in, is encrypted okay so <clears throat> there's a method that helps us to encrypt the data so <clears throat> what is it called in https so for the data to be encrypted so what what makes it able for the data to be encrypted SSL. Use, uh, SSL. Okay. 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 Let me just put in bracket. SSL. SSL. Yeah. And then versus I'll say versus TLS. Okay. Okay. So, so what is SSL? Just continue with it. We are the one who, who has brought up this one. So, continue. Yeah. Yes, yes, just continue. Oh, yeah, yeah, the one, yeah, the one, yeah, SSL. 
it's a secure socket layer. You yes, can so say mm-hmm. it's the one that helps with encryption. The secure socket layer. So you're saying it helps with encryption. And what about the TLS? What does the TLS helps for help helps us with? This one is called this one in full is transport 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 layer security. <clears throat> so can anyone maybe help us with what the transport layer security does or maybe how is it beneficial to it in https there's no wrong answer here we are all learning so just say anything uh, i'd say mm-hmm. tls is more it's just it's just like ssl but but it's a better version because with it, it comes with the cryptograph. Yeah, so, so more, more like, so you're saying it's more like SSL. So but a better version. Success. But a better version. Yeah. Better version, version of it. Okay. I think I won't add, I won't add anything on that because that's, that's the simplest way you can just can just get a grab on it so both of them work the same way both of them help in, in, in encryption but then tls is better than the first one so in case you want to know information about that so you can just go to, through the resources once more and then get it so most of the things you have discussed here are in the resources yeah so this is more like uh, today we won't do any 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 task so when well, the session is about to end, we are going to, to decide when we'll do the task if it's tomorrow or maybe on Sunday. And also the web static project, we didn't finish all of them. We are remaining with from task five to eight. So we'll also discuss on when to finish the remaining tasks. Yeah, so yeah, and then there's something called the handshake. I don't know. I don't know if okay let me let me write this one let me type this one because we are here now and then somebody is going to help us with an answer but then if you have talked please don't talk with this one i want somebody else to help us with this i think that's a rectangle then a small line here and then so this line more like going this way in this way and then like that well, there's no space let me just move this one this side and let me see <laughs> just that it means it's about the space Sorry about that, guys. Let me just. It, it's good. It's just going to be the same drawing. Let me just put it here. So, so this one also. So this is the first one is drawing one. We just say it's drawing one, and then the, the second one is drawing two. Same thing. So line going this way. Then. So, so let me just put this quickly so here we just see user middle one will say so insecure Oof, I didn't want it to be that okay then insecure connection and then 
port 80 so this one this one, this one uses port 80 and then this the other one here this one also the user <coughs> and then secure encrypted I hope that's the the right encrypt encrypted encrypted connection and then lastly port 443 okay <coughs> so let me just mention a name I don't want anyone so William has said something so I think everybody has said something here so ah Chino so Chino so oh you, are, you have not said something okay help us with it so <coughs> can you tell us which 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 transfer method is the, the first one is this one where we have a user and then he's transferring this data or maybe in in port 80 using an insecure connection okay, so can you help us with which type of connection this one is you know so i think that's on yeah. i think that's on yeah okay we can't hear you. so in case you're talking we can't hear you because of time we just move on so let me let me just mention one person clinton had said something so we don't want to hear from clinton okay doris <coughs> we're going back to you again so <coughs> the first one this first type of connection here what type of connection which type of connection is this one yeah okay yeah just wanna say the first one is it's a HTTP connection which is absolutely correct <coughs> it's yeah so this one is based on what we've talked about just here so the first one is, is the HTTP connection because it's insecure and it uses port 80 eh? so you should not forget about that one and then the second one this one is the HTTPS so it, it uses encryption and it uses port 443 but then don't don't grab this one most of the times you just you just you just get here it's here inside it's secure secure http 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 yeah so <coughs> in case you get secure http just know that one is https so make sure you get <coughs> you know about this one because while you are doing your project you're also going to get this one we're going to use this one maybe even if it's not inside the, the task itself while the review is being carried will be asked to be sure to know about that one yeah okay now so what's the last thing we have not discussed let's see <coughs> is it yeah so we had we had They lost. We're just here. Okay. okay. Yeah, we are supposed to talk about yeah, yeah, here. It is. We have talked about the DNS types, the web server and application server HTTP versus https and then a database yeah so <coughs> i think we've talked all about that yeah, unless maybe let's let me see if we have something else that we have not talked about yeah i don't think there's something we've not talked about yeah we've talked about everything let me see here yeah, so yeah so in most importantly guys so today's session, today's session was talking about this one here 
you will also have to whiteboard each task in front of a mentor, staff or student. No computers or notes will be allowed during the whiteboarding session. Yeah, so you can also use this this app to whiteboard. But then most importantly, remember you are going to be asked questions. So make sure you go through the resources. Make sure you go through the resources. Yeah. So I think that's it for today. I think that's enough for the first session for introduction. So <coughs> we're going to leave it here. And then okay, let me just stop the, the recording.